Seattle on this Tuesday, the 28th day of August 2007. I'm Kristen Volk with the UPI Headline Update. Lawmakers on both sides are calling for a replacement for Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez, who can reestablish confidence in the Justice Department. Gonzalez resigned yesterday amid controversy over the wiretapping program and the firings of several U.S. attorneys last year. President Bush, who says he reluctantly accepted Gonzalez's resignation, will nominate a new attorney general who then must be confirmed by the Senate. Israel's security services are beefing up patrols because they say Hamas may be planning massive terrorist attacks in that country. They say the group may use this tactic to undermine diplomatic dialogue between Israel and the Palestinian Authority. Israeli border police are inspecting Palestinians and their vehicles at checkpoints outside of Jerusalem. Hamas is denying these allegations. Republican Senator Larry Craig is denying he acted inappropriately after he pled guilty earlier this month to a misdemeanor disorderly conduct charge. The charge reportedly stems from his arrest at the Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport in June. According to the arrest report, the Idaho senator gave certain signals to an undercover airport officer that indicated he wanted to engage in lewd conduct with that officer. Craig now says he regrets his guilty plea. And suspended NFL quarterback Michael Vick is now apologizing for his actions involving dogfighting. Vick spoke to reporters yesterday after pleading guilty to that federal charge. Vick said he's disappointed in himself and takes full responsibility for his actions. Both supporters and protesters of the Atlanta Falcons football player turned out for the hearing in U.S. District Court in Richmond, Virginia, waving signs and chanting. Vic will find out in December what, if any, prison sentence he faces. That's all for now. Thanks for watching today's news headline and join us tomorrow for another one. Have a great day.